In agricultural news from agview.net, U.S. agriculture producers became more optimistic again in September. The Purdue University CME Group Ag Economic Barometer climbed to 156. That is the highest reading for the index since the pandemic began last winter, 12 points higher than a month ago. Since July, the index is up 38 points and is 60 points higher than its 2020 low that was established back in April. Organizers say USDA's announcement of the second round of the coronavirus food assistance program payments to producers and an ongoing rally in fall crop prices likely to be the two primary drivers behind the improvement. Farmers also more optimistic about making investments in their farming operation and about the short run outlook for farmland values as they were in August. Well, despite what has been a slower agricultural land market the last few years, the dollar amount of land that Farmers National Company is selling for its clients is near record levels. They say as of October 1st, the company and its agents say active marketing and selling of land worth over $3,300 million. The land being marketed includes some good quality tillable crop land of all sizes, some recreational land, ranches, pasture land, timber land, rural homes, acreages, even transitional land near urban areas. Now, the amount of land for sale varies by region and broker. Some areas continue to have less for sale than normal, and others are seeing a slight uptick in the amount of land that's listed for sale. Now, landowners have been continuing to make decisions on whether to sell now in early 2021 or even hold on to the land. There's also been a reported increase in farmland interest by investment firms that are seeking long-term and stable investment options. More on these and other ag news stories at agview.net. Stay with us.